Hey guys, we're working on grammar. This is future tense and it is page 176. 176, this is your Tuesday grammar. All right guys, so yesterday we talked about past tense and present tense, so it makes sense today to talk about future tense. I'm reading in the square, so follow along at the top. Verbs in future tense show that an event is going to happen. Hmm, Mrs. Norman is going to, what am I going to do? Give you homework? No, Mrs. Norman is going to eat chocolate after everybody leaves today. I probably will. That will happen. Okay, so that is going to happen in the future tense after everybody leaves from school. Okay, to form the future tense, use a helping verb such as will. Ah, so here's our present tense. She learns about American history, right? We can picture someone learning about American history right now at this time. She learns about American history. But if it's going to happen in the future, like later today or tomorrow, then we're going to add a helping verb like will. So it, the example says she will learn about American history, right? Um, another way to say it is she is going to learn about American history. She will learn is a little bit more proper, but the other is acceptable as well. Okay. Uh, to shorten a future tense verb, you can use a contraction. So instead of writing she will learn, you could also say she'll learn, right? This is a contraction for she will. You can use contractions. So all we need to do in the bottom parts, one through five, um, is to write the future tense of the verb in parentheses. So the verb is already found for you. You don't have to find it this time. It's already in parentheses. You can take a look at number one. The verb is takes. It already tells it tells you what it is. So what you need to do is write both the full future tense and the contraction. So for number one, the sentence is she takes a field trip with her class. Well, she's not going to take the field trip till tomorrow or even towards the end of the year because of COVID, right? So we're going to say she will take a field trip with her class. So we're going to write will take. Oh, we better say she will take, right? That, will, that would be the future. She will take, okay? And then if we also write the contraction, easy enough, we're going to write she'll, right? It's going to look like S-H-E apostrophe L-L. She'll take. So that's our contraction. She will and she'll, they mean the same thing, but this is a little bit of a shorter version, um, and it's a contraction. And that's all we have to write for all of these. We're going to find the verb that's in the sentence. Um, right now, it's in the um, present tense, and we need to change it to the future tense. So you can add a will, um, or is, if you say is going to, um, then you would change, you would say she is, or he is going. Um, and if you change that to a contraction, then you would say she's, like she apostrophe s, or he's, he apostrophe s. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, like number two, they visit the site of a famous battle. Visits are a verb, and if they're going to do it in the future, they will say they will visit. They will visit. And our contraction would look, look like they'll visit a famous battle. They'll, T-H-E-Y apostrophe L-L. They'll visit the site of a famous battle. That's it. So I want you to fill in the rest. I know that you can do, gosh, I even gave you number two. I know you can do three, four, and five on your own. You got this. If you have questions, come find me or a mentor or anybody else in our class that you, um, if, that you trust that you can go and ask, okay? Good luck.